Hello, beautiful. I have missed you so much. I'm back and I'm doing a two for one video today. I'm gonna give you an update on how I'm doing following my hair transplant. Plus, I'm talking all the hot topics from Wow and her allegedly abusive husband to Black China and so much more. But first, I am so <laughs> unwell right now. <laughs> I have to laugh about it because my anxiety is through the roof, more likely than not triggered by my insane lack of sleep. Last night, I had to go pee pee <laughs> about eight times, I think, in the middle of the night. And one of the reasons, the main one, that I have not been sleeping well is not only am I recovering from my Alvi Armani expert, amazing Dr. Baubach hair transplant, F-U-E-N-P-R-P, -P, but part of my recovery requires me to sleep upright for a week. Today is the last day I, and night I have to follow my week one aftercare regimen. And I've been staying at my mom's house because she's got three <laughs> recliners. The middle one with the sheets is mine. This, uh, if you saw me on Cameo, I started making cameos yesterday. Cameo.com slash Perez Hilton. I've I washed this a bunch of times, but I've been wearing it daily. It's kind of like my recovery uniform. I put this on just for today's video because I want to get back into the swing of things now that my face is not swollen and I don't look too frightening. I'll give you a close-up look. This is gonna look phenomenal. Dr. Baubuck did such exquisite work. He reinforced the hairline, gave me the depth that I wanted, even some triples, some singles, some doubles. I mean, it's insane to think that this was all a week ago and the donor areas are from here and the back. They get it, harvest it, and put it back in. And one of the things that I had forgotten, and listen, this is not to dissuade you. I'm an, I, it's the opposite. Hopefully I encourage any guy or woman who wants to get hair transplant surgery to do it because I am so happy with the results. I'm so happy I did it, even if recovery has been a little bit difficult as expected because it's a surgery. But one of the hardest things for me, and I forgot about this, is you're awake during the procedure, but they give you anesthesia, local, and they give you, you know, whatever it is extra to, to make sure that you're calm Dr. Baba calls it the Alvi Armani wine. Uh, and that was really helpful. So, you know, I made two videos the day of my procedure. One I deleted because it was a little too graphic for social media. And then I posted another one after the procedure and I was in a great mood and I felt really good actually even when I got home and for a few days after. Only the last couple of days have I started to not feel great. One, the lack of sleep and two, the anesthesia has been wearing off. And imagine you're a hardcore drug addict, which I'm not, but that's what I think it must be like, wearing off or weaning off of something that was very major. So crashing down or dealing with the detoxification of your body, which I'm trying to help by drinking a lot of airborne tea, even more water than normal, that could also explain why I'm going to go pee so much in the middle of the night, but I wanna help this process along. But yeah, coming off the anesthesia has been trying. And I've also got a lot of Tylenol extra strength handy because I was not in any pain during the procedure and I wasn't in any pain after the procedure, and I'm not in any pain now. Now it's just more of feeling sensitivity or pres pressure, even more than sensitivity. The back, the donor area feels sensitive, but it's like a mild to moderate headache a lot of the time. So pop in a lot of the Tylenol extra strength, but I'm just so happy with 
doing something for me and happy that people weren't judging me over it and that everybody has been so supportive. I've been so emotional these last couple of days, the anxiety and just reminding myself how lucky and privileged I am that I was able to do that, that I went to the best guy, not just in Los Angeles, but Dr. Baubuck at Aldi Armani is the best on the planet. And that I've got such amazing Fram like you who patiently were awaiting my return, who were sending me positive vibes, so thank you. And in the spirit of positivity, I wanna send all of the positive vibes to Jenny Farley, who many of you know as JWoww from Jersey Shore. She posted a very long, which I read in its entirety, letter on her website with accompanying court documents and video alleging so much against her soon-to-be ex-husband, alleging that he was physically abusive, verbally abusive, did not look out for the best interest of their son's health, reached out to an abusive ex-boyfriend, attempted to destroy her in every way, even contacting MTV or her producers. She didn't specify if it was the production company or MTV, but really going after her and you're never prepared for anything until you're in it. It's always easier to have an opinion if you're not a part of the issue. But I hope and I pray if any woman or man sees Jenny's story and sees the videos and sees the time stamp on them, the first time a partner is physically abusive towards you or even verbally abusive towards you in a way that you think crosses the line, let them go because it's only gonna get worse. And I feel like that's what happened from the videos I saw the timestamp were 2017 and this woman tried and tried to make things work with this man who, you know, even reneged on what he had publicly said about not being with her for, for money, but now he wants all this money from her. It's just sad and it makes me so thankful that I am single, but blessed to have three beautiful children and have gotten to spend more time with them recently while I've been recuperating, which also has been playing tricks on my mind because you know, it's like being on vacation, but not really. <laughs> I haven't been on vacation. But when you spend more time with your kids, it's like, God, I, I wish I could work even less. But I can't. <laughs> I'm super transparent with you guys. I have three kids and my mom, I have to work for a living, as do most people. I'm not asking for sympathy. You know, it is what it is. But it's nice to dream and aspire to have FU money. It's nice to hope and pray for a TV show or whatever it is that may give me a lot of more money so that I could focus on just this, that, the other, so that I could be better with my time management and not feel like I have to do it all. Thanks for being my therapist, you guys. <laughs> I, I, hope, I hope some of you see yourselves in me or not. <laughs> I think I am relatable, you know? I struggle, I work hard, I enjoy life, and I do it all with immense gratitude. All right, let's move on from that difficult situation to another difficult situation. If you haven't been keeping tabs, Black China was in the headlines this week because according to Team Rob Kardashian, she went to Hawaii with her new boyfriend and did not let Rob know. And he allegedly was upset about this because he would have rather had spent more time with their daughter, Dream, instead of Dream being looked after by the nannies when China was in Hawaii. And as if that weren't bad enough, 
China's Hawaii trip escalated to a whole other level, similar to that of JWoww, when the police were called to the hotel that Black China was staying at and allegations of abuse on both sides from Black China and her new boyfriend, this rapper, whose name I don't even care. What's his name? Kid Boo. <laughs> Best dad ever. I also randomly want to give a shout out to my sister. I know I don't talk about her too much and I have and the wedding stuff, but my sister is so supportive and does so much for me. So thank you, sister. <laughs> and thank you to everybody. I'm so, thank you to every single person that has ever helped me along the way. If I could help you in any way I want to, I don't want to, it's, oh, whatever. Oh, this might seem like, this might be the longest video. I'm gonna try not to make it too long. This, you know, I like to follow a lot of hot dudes on Instagram and this one hot dude messaged me and asked for help with something. His old account was deleted and it had almost 300,000 followers and something as little as giving him the con a contact for somebody I know at Instagram to hopefully help him out. I felt really good about that <laughs> and I did it without asking or expecting or wanting anything in return from this person. So I hope I hope my videos can help people in some way. If any if anything it's just a distraction and entertainment for you. Cause I do go through life with a lot of guilt, not just from my past, but also I wish I could help people even more. I wish I could I could do more and be better. But this is my course in life and I love being Perez Hilton and I just want to be the best me possible within the confines of the life and career that I've built for myself. Yeah, so Black China, it raises a lot of red flags to me that Rob has not gone to court yet that we know of over all of the drama with Black China not letting him know, bad communication, and an allegedly abusive boyfriend, and she allegedly abusive herself, allegedly scratching the guy. I don't want to read too much into it, but let me read too much into it. <laughs> Rob may not be sober, and hello, it would not be a stretch of the imagination to think that Black China is not sober either. And I think he and she are both concerned that a judge may order them both to random drug testing, which they both may fail. And then what happens to her two kids, the one with Tyga also? Listen, I am not here to judge, okay? I am sure that there are parents out there that drink excessively, but can function. There are probably even dads and moms out there in Hollywood that do the, or whatever, and maybe are even good parents. But when things start getting out there and the police are involved and this, that, and the other, hello, get it together. That's all I will say. All right, moving on, more violence and the response to this was so i don't even have a word for it the whole incident with jesse smollett in chicago and him being attacked and bleach thrown on him and a noose put around his head and so many people thinking he made it up and why 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 i, I just i really don't understand not just him but also his manager claimed to have been on the phone with him and his manager has corroborated Jussie's account of what happened the Empire actor claiming not just homophobia but also that he was targeted by Trump supporters I don't see a positive or a plus side in fabricating that he's working he's successful I'm picking at one of my I'm not picking at food, but you know, I've got like a little pellejito. How do you say that in English? <laughs> I don't know. Anyways, um, 
I, I just find it highly incredulous that he would make those details up. And in the wake of that, it's been great to see a lot of support for Jesse Smollett, including from Kevin Hart. And a lot of people are criticizing Kevin Hart for sharing positive thoughts and well wishes towards Jossie. Why? I don't think he was being insincere. I think, I think we should applaud Kevin Hart for that instead of attacking and criticizing him. And he was not here for it. He told all the haters said, I stand with a man in his time of hurt and need by giving him heartfelt support and you take the time to harp on my 10 year past that I have apologized about and moved on from by being a better person. Do you want change? If so, I am an example of what you want people to do, change. And as somebody who hopes that others can see that in himself, me, I support you, Kevin Hart, and I and I think what you did was absolutely wonderful, and you've been handling yourself with the whole Jussie situation A-OK. -okay. On to some couples news. Let's lighten things up. Uh, there were a lot of couples news that we talked about, but some lighter couples news. Cardi B and her baby daddy, Offset, are officially back together. She has moved back in to the house that they shared together in Atlanta, and Offset has agreed to a new phone number and no female groupies around. <laughs> Once a cheater, I mean, Khloe Kardashian approves. <laughs> uh, you know, like I said, no, well, I don't know. I don't know. I'm a fan of open communication. I I would rather agree to any kind of open relationship before cheating than just cheating. And also, let's get serious. People that cheat, more likely than not, they're getting drunk or high or whatever. If you're a rational thinking person, you hopefully shouldn't be cheating. Who do I know? What do I know? Who do I know? <laughs> More couples news. Kourtney Kardashian has got herself a new boy, friend, man, pal. Not officially dating, but hanging out. His name is David D. Duran. And do you guys think this is going to last? They met through church, but he's a normal dude with a normal job. He's not famous. In fact, he's a CPA, an accountant. Not even a sexy job, you know, not a, a model or anything like that. But you know what? Parents have got needs and ain't nothing wrong with a little fun. Although a little fun for me is sleep, which I will be able to do. I'm not going to, I'm, I'm, I'm going to, I can sleep in my bed tomorrow night, but I'm going to take an extra night of precaution and sleep in the recliner an extra night just so like I don't roll over or anything. Like, I don't wanna go, I'm not getting this done again, third and final time. More couples news, and I'm curious to hear your thoughts on this. Let me know in the comments section below. And as always, if you wanna see, read, or hear more, I will have a link to everything I spoke about in this video down below so that you can do those things. B. Smith, y'all remember her, the uh, lifestyle expert, chef, TV personality. Well, a few years ago, she opened up about being diagnosed with Alzheimer's. Debilitating, disgusting disease. Her husband is her caretaker, and he has taken in a new girlfriend who also has taken on a caretaker role for B. Smith. And frankly, I don't see it as problematic. I see it as mature and noble because there are a lot of crappy men and maybe women as well who would abandon a spouse in their time of need. There are. there. Are, it happens all the time. You don't think it does or will or could happen to you. It happens way more frequently than, than you would imagine. I know. And if B. Smith is okay with it, which she 
apparently is. I mean, she has Alzheimer's, but she's not ill 100% of the time. Then I don't see it as problematic. And I would rather be cared for by people that I know and and know that are doing it for more than just money. Like my kids or my, my partner's new partner, if I, if I think they're a good person. I don't know. I'm just not like so anti it. I'm also not anti Tori Spelling. This story of Tori Spelling having to pay off her huge American Express bill had so many people bashing her. But you know what? I have a lot of empathy for Tori Spelling because as a parent, I think it is my responsibility to teach my kids to be frugal, to, to, to be fiscally responsible, to understand about credit cards and not spending more than you're making. And that is on me. And I don't think Tori Spelling ever got that from her parents growing up. If anything, she got the opposite of that. So I'm not going to judge Tori Spelling and say, oh, why doesn't she get it together? And I'm not also going to judge her for having five kids. I wish I was ballsy enough to go through with that or crazy enough. I don't want five. I want a fourth and final, but I can't afford one now. If it's meant to be down the road, it'll be. If God wants it for me, then it'll happen. If not, then I've got three kids and my mom. And I am blessed. And I've got you. And I keep thinking about the 15-year anniversary of me and how much things change and evolve and grow. And I'm still here and still loving what I do and hungry for more and grateful and still have more to talk about. <laughs> Ariana Grande, onto some music news, got this tattoo, which she wanted it to say seven rings, but it didn't say that. Then she fixed it and she still didn't get it right. The Japanese lettering that Ari has now says Japanese barbecue finger. Which, if she put on a t-shirt, I would buy. Not really, because I'm cheap. But if she gave me a free t-shirt, I would wear it. <laughs> it's good to be cheap, yo. Well, within reason. I mean, I am going to take some trips coming up. It's good to be cheap, but not paranoid either about money. Does that make sense? Anyways. Ariana got a lot of flack for cultural appropriation for selling t-shirts in Japanese. There is a difference between appropriation and celebration or inspiration. Sorry, I'm not a fan. I'm not Japanese, but I also think it's an American thing. People in Japan probably love it, but Japanese Americans, I think, from what I've seen online, are the ones maybe having more issue with it. More music-related news. Justin Bieber released a line of clothes. He wants to be the new Kanye. Literally, his clothes look like a ripoff of what Kanye does. And Kanye did it better. And first, more music news. Christina Aguilera has announced a Vegas residency. The Experience which I might have to go to in disguise. <laughs> I, I would like to go to that. Speaking of uh, Vegas, her Vegas headliner, Pierre, Celine Dion, has approved a Celine biopic, which I am so down for. I cannot wait to see that. I love Celine. And Celine has agreed to let them use her, mov her music in the movie. Too long, but I've been gone for a while. Jax Taylor from Vanderpump Rules was mortified after it was revealed on Watch What Happens Live that he wears lifts in his shoes to make him appear taller, to make himself appear taller. Don't be mortified, dude. Do you. Do whatever makes you feel good about yourself. And let me end things today on a real positive note. 
Drake was at a McDonald's recently, tipped each woman $10,000. Two employees there. God's plan. And I thank God for you. And if you enjoyed this video, y'all, I'm trying to grow my YouTube and Facebook. I post these videos on YouTube and Facebook. I can monetize them. Your boy's trying to make more money. Watch my videos, tell your friends, share this, click the like button, leave a comment, leave another comment, subscribe, follow if you're not doing that yet, and I send you all of the love.